Wall Street is on track to add to its Fed fueled rally. Fed officials voted nearly unanimously following a two day policy meeting to raise the key interest rate for overnight lending by a quarter point. Now, the central bank left its plan for rate increases essentially unchanged, expecting a total of three hikes uh, this year and three more next year. Today, more U.S. economic data was released. Construction on new homes in the U.S. climbed 3 percent in February to the second highest level since 2007. Meanwhile, initial weekly jobless claims declined to 241,000. And on Wednesday, U.S. indices closed higher as the Fed Reserve raised the Fed funds rate. Shares in the energy, real estate and utility sectors ended on a positive note. As for your investors and decliners, 87 percent of S&P 500 constituents traded higher yesterday. And in after hours trade, Oracle reported third quarter adjusted EPS of 69 cents a year ago on revenues of $9.21 billion. In other news, the company boosted its quarterly dividend to 19 cents per share from 15 cents per share. Tesla also said it will offer $250 million of common stock and $750 million of convertible bonds. The aggregate gross proceeds of the offerings, including the options granted to the underwriters, is expected to be approximately $1.15 billion. And on the earnings calendar, it is fairly quiet today. We will be getting results up from Dollar General as well as Adobe Systems. And in overseas markets, Asia markets were higher today with the Nikkei gaining 0.07%, the Hang Seng higher by over 2%, and South Korea's Kospi gaining 0.8%. European indices are higher today. As for the S&P 500, further upside is expected. Long positions are preferred above 2378 with targets at 2390 and 2394 in extension. The Nasdaq and Dow Industrials for those uh, indexes, the upside does prevail.